In today's video, gents, we're gonna find out which shirt is better, the Polo or the Henley. We're comparing the polo shirt to the Henley shirt to find out which one is perfect for you. But before we do that, let's take a step back. Let's go back and look at history. 1926 US Open, Rene Lacoste hits the court. And what do we notice? He's wearing the first tennis shirt. By his own design, this was a white shirt, short sleeve made from a peak cotton with a soft collar, very different. Most guys were wearing in the tennis shirt at the time was a long sleeve dress shirt. These guys were having trouble. It just didn't work. So he changed things up. Now the guys over in the polo fields, they saw this, they were like, this is a great design shirt. We're going to start to wear this. So they started wearing it, but it was still called the tennis shirt. Then in 1972, Ralph Lauren, all of a sudden he came out with his new line, his polo line, and he saw he made a copy of what the polo players were wearing. And all of a sudden it started to be called the polo shirt. Now golf picked this up in the 1950s and 60s and 70s as well, but we see basically the same style. So that's where the history on this one. Now let's talk about the history of the Henley. Let's go back to 1839, Henley on the Thames. They've got their Henley Royal Regatta and their rowers consistently wear this particular style of shirt. So it becomes known as the Henley. Over in the underwear area, it's picked up, it is preserved throughout time and history. And then we see it get picked up by Ralph Lauren, one of his buyers looking at some vintage shirts says, I love this. And the one guy's like, well, that's underwear. He's like, no, that is going to be the new style of shirt. So they bring out the long sleeve Henley, the short sleeve Henley and Ralph Lauren makes it popular. Now they make it popular because of the basically what we see right here. It's very similar to a long sleeve for a short sleeve t-shirt, except for the placket and the focus in on the buttons. There's no collar to distract from anything, but right here, the placket. All right. So at this point, you may be wondering, Antonio, where'd you get that great looking polo? That Henley. I like it. I love it. I want to grab it. Guys, I'm linking the public rec down in the description of this video. They're the paid sponsor of today's video and you can grab all the clothing you see in today's video over at their website. And guys, since 2015, I've been working with this company. They wanted to fill that gap of the clothing that you can wear at home on the weekends and you still want to look good running errands in and around town. So they sent me a couple years back. They're all day, every day pants. These pants I've worn probably 80, I've washed 80 times, worn probably 200 over the last three years and just a great pair of pants. They look so much better than sweatpants. They're more comfortable than jeans. And then they sent me their hoodie and it became my favorite hoodie. And the material is, is just phenomenal. Now I've got a pair of their shorts. I've got their bomber jacket. And as you can tell, this polo is phenomenal and the fit is on point. Now what's most interesting to me about it is they use their own material called Relux. And Relux is made up of Pima cotton. It's got spandex in it. And it's also got about 23% tensile. That combination gives you an incredibly soft feeling, stretching material that's going to fit your body. And overall, it just looks good. It feels good. It maintains its shape. It's a great looking shirt. All right, gentlemen. So I'm linking a public rec down in the description of this video. There's a discount code down there. Use it or lose it. It's the best you're going to find. And like I said, they create something that is unique. Public rec has you covered. Round number one, comparing the polo to the Henley, which one is more stylish? So when it comes to style, the polo shirt, the tennis shirt, the golf shirt, it's hard to beat because exactly what I just said. When we look at the top men in golf, tennis, polo, these individuals have been in the spotlight for almost a hundred years wearing this type of shirt. And that's where the polo shirt has had a huge advantage over most other clothing is it it's constantly in our eye. Now it's a very casual shirt and because of the makeup of the collar, the makeup of the shirt material, the style of it being short sleeve, it's always going to be casual. But the fact that it's got a collar, all of a sudden it's dressier than the t-shirt or a lot of other shirts out there. So for that reason, I definitely have to say the polo shirt is very, very stylish. So let's talk about the Henley in style. So if you are in good shape, you've got a good chest, you've got a good overall build, a Henley can help you show off your build. Or if you want to layer it with other items, you can actually wear it as an underpiece and wear other items on top. Another area is with accessories. Maybe you've got a watch, maybe you've got bracelets, any type of beads that you want to show off. You, the Henley is not going to distract or draw attention away. Now the only area where a Henley is going to draw a bit of attention to itself is going to be the upper chest area with the placket and the button placement but this can be a good thing. I've seen some Henleys where they go for a little bit of contrast, but you know, I would keep it pretty simple because in simplicity, there is strength. Round number one, winner, the polo. Round two, comparing the polo to the Henley. Let's talk about options, fabric, patterns, and fit. 
So this, if we actually break it down into the three different types I talked about earlier in the history, let's go over and look at the tennis shirt. We're going to see maybe not so much variation in the different patterns and colors. We're going to see peak cotton though, hundred percent still in many of the shirts manufactured still today, almost a hundred years later. Now, one thing we will notice about two to three buttons here, why this is important in the placket is if we go over and we look at golf shirts, golf shirts oftentimes have three to four buttons and they go farther down. Another interesting thing with golf shirts, they're going to oftentimes have a pocket over here. Now, this is for holding their scorecard, maybe a pencil when you're out there on the golf field. Oftentimes, golf shirts will also will be maybe a little bit looser and they may be a little bit longer so that you can more easily tuck them in. Now, tennis shirts, the polo shirts, they're not made to be tucked in. But one thing interesting about the back of the tennis shirt, it's got what's known as the tennis tail. And that's where the back of that shirt is actually a little bit longer. Tennis shirts in general are also going to fit a little bit closer to the body. Now, if we look at the polo shirts, that right there, that's where we're going to see a lot of the wild colors, the interesting patterns. Because yeah, it goes with their particular team, the uniforms, and that's where the different like emblems and things on it was made very popular. Now we're talking about Henley options, fabrics, patterns, and different styles out there. So one of the most common styles you're going to see with the Henley is going to be the long sleeve Henley. I think this looks great. Again, great for layering, something I like to bring into my wardrobe. Now with the fabrics and the patterns, you're usually going to see them made from a cotton and different variations of such, oftentimes with blended materials. Henleys, because they oftentimes fit close to the body, they're going to want a little bit of a stretch material, sometimes spandex, other things in there. But again, you want something that can stretch, that can conform to the body. Now when it comes to patterns, they are going to be relatively plain and simple. Now, when it comes to overall shape and build, sometimes you'll see a raglan sleeve. Now, a raglan sleeve goes all the way up to the neck. Raglan sleeves are going to be a bit more comfortable. Round two winner, I'm going to say this one is a draw. Round three, comparing the polo to the Henley, let's talk about versatility. In my opinion, the polo is one of the most versatile items in a man's wardrobe. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. You can wear it with a wide range of different items in your wardrobe. In this case, I'm dressing it up with a sports jacket, but I could also dress it up with a blazer. I could wear it with a casual suit, or I could dress it down with a pair of jeans. I could dress it down with a pair of shorts. There is, it's going to work with so many items, very versatile. When it comes to versatility, the Henley, it really doesn't have too much range. Now, I think you could wear a dark colored Henley made from a tightly woven fabric, maybe with a sports jacket, but that would be pushing it because the no collar with the sports jacket, it's almost like wearing a t-shirt, but if you can pull that off, okay, all the more power to you. But for most of the time, the Henley is going to be at home in the casual clothing range. So, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with shorts. I wouldn't really push it to wear it with any nice trousers. You can wear it with chinos, but it's really, again, going to be at home in the casual range. And the winner of round three and the winner of today's fight, gentlemen, the polo. And I love the Henley. I'm not going to diss the Henley, but I am going to say if I had to make a choice, I would go with the polo. I think it's much more versatile. I think it's got just as many options and it's more stylish. So, I'm going to choose the polo first, but I still think a Henley is a great item to have in your wardrobe. Agree, disagree? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. And if you like this polo, which is now one of my favorite polos, guys, go grab it over at Public Rec. I'm linking to them down in the description. Or if you like that Henley, you like the hoodies, you like all the other clothing that these guys have. You guys want to see me put on the bomber. Like I said though, down in the description, I've got the best discount code you're going to find. And uh, these guys are awesome. I, I love their clothing. I think it's very good quality and it's great casual wear that you can wear in and around town. That's it. Take care. I will see you in the next video.